consider approval of the first reading to amend Marion County Ordinance 2009-410.04 to reflect a change in the time of Sunday liquor sales from 12 noon to 10 a.m. as applied only to restaurants. Lisa, you want to comment on that? Or? Well, it is simply just that to only change the Sunday sales. It was previously till, uh, to begin at 12 noon and it, on Sunday, and it's only to change it in restaurants beginning at 10 a.m. on was this, Sunday. Was this a request from a certain restaurant? or? I think there was a request. I don't actually know. I think there's been a couple of restaurants that have inquired into the possibility of doing that. I talked to the Nelson County there at 6 a.m. There four hours before us. So I mean, 6 a.m. Or 6 a.m. So theirs is no different Heck, on Sunday than going any to other, early mass. I tell you what. <laughs> any other day. I call so, Father and tell you, well, I'll pick up the blind, Father. <laughs> <laughs> so. It, motion. Second. This would actually only be the first reading. We would have to put it on for a second. second. The first reading. Yeah. Actually, going to be a Yes. Mr. Quill. Yes. Mr. Quill. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Item number 11 is Mr. Mike Henning and Monica Henning are here today to discuss issue on Bald Knob Road. Thank you, Brad. I share some photos. I'm fine. Yeah. I thought you had food. That's kind of excited. There you go, Jack. I understand from the magistrate's visit at my home on Saturday there's going to be some changes to the lane which I live in the end of. 23 years, it's been a beautiful lane. No that road. No fixed potholes. I've seen it. Pick up the sticks, the debris, and watch friends and families, neighbors and visitors enjoy that lane. But what it is today, now the right side of these pictures is what's in question. And what I've been explained is we're wanting to, and it's already on the table, to eliminate that side for utilities. Now I'm a little more certain on how this is going to go. So I've asked for your help. Okay. And what I have here is just a little drawing of how the land lays from A to B. This is the beginning, which is the last resident where the pavement ends and the rock begins. And this is the next driveway where the land in question ends, okay? That opens up to my property on the bottom side. This doesn't affect my property at all. It affects the rights of everyone who uses this road, which is a dead end road, which makes it pretty secluded. <coughs> forward and horseback riding and all those great things that that type of road offers plus the open fields and the view that our guests get to see and enjoy okay now from this point to this point is about a tenth of a mile and if I understand right correct me if I'm wrong anybody the county has 15 feet from the center of the road to the Property owner. Has that been verified? Larry, do you know Larry? There, I don't know exactly that it's a lot of most of them are, some of them are more or less, but that's normally what I'd say. Rock, say on rock yeah. road. Basically, that's it, but yeah. they, they vary, okay? On right. Especially on rock road. So, from, from here to here, the county's done a great job of knocking out the limestone and the boulders and creating a path for drainage, which goes through this drain pipe and to the new bridge that was created back in 11. Okay, wonderful. They even went as far as to ditch this wooded area extensively because the water comes out of this field into this ditch and runs into the falls and into the drain tile and to the creek. Okay, beautiful this morning. We have a lot of rain on our way and it works, okay. But we don't have any drain tile here because this field floods in this direction, okay? Now what we have here is a tree line, but it's outside that 15 foot limit because the county trenched this area. 
And these woods are far enough back, and this is a thick wooded area. That's 15 feet past the center line, even further, okay? But what concerns me the most is this tree line right here, which goes all the way up to the neighbor's pin, okay? That's the tree line in question. This whole area is a living tunnel of beauty, as you see in the pictures, okay? And if we take out any of this, it's devastating. It'll never be the same again. Okay. Now, I'm not sure why, other than for a easement of utility, but it seems to me that the easement of utility should be on the other side of the ditch and in the woods on the other side of the ditch, which is completely on private property. Is there a water line runs up there? It's on, on this side of the road. Well, oh, first off, it, is, it runs on the other side. Of the road. Okay. First, yes. First off, let me straighten you on one thing. This is not for an easement for utilities. I told, I mentioned to you that in the future, the water company may get with him and have an easement for their for the water line, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing. That's uh, in the future. You know, if they want to run uh, their main county water line from Mr. Knopf's on back through there for say somebody bill or anyway somebody he's mr spalding dies they subdivide that and they need water back there whatever i misunderstood you yeah i, I brought yeah i brought you about about the water line but it's <clears throat> that's an easement it won't be on the county property they would get that they would get that their self but before that gets done the road would need to be uh, all the dozing and stuff and the trees you're talking about in question would need to be removed before I don't know if that'll happen but that's before that could happen or before the road could be widened before the road could be black topped well I, I, the, I the yeah um, on the paved road leading to this section which is the last third of the highway mm -hmm. roadway uh, there are large trees that three people can't even hug mm -hmm that are less than four feet from the paved road. Mm -hmm. There are sections on Baldog Road that I travel twice a day for sure, right. that I have to pull off the side to allow, like yesterday, a tractor mm -hmm. and his pickup truck and whatever other equipment to pass, right. okay? On this road, we can almost pass each other slowly and not touch vehicles all the time. Mm -hmm. So as far as riding the road, I don't see that it's worth the expense when there's one resident at the end of the road, and four other property owners that own the rest of the land. I'm just a little confused from the tree. Why we would invest in 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 this? I, in the last two years, I've seen more logging trucks, and I followed them out. The county's done a great job of cleaning the umbrella and creating this tunnel. The trucks didn't hit the trees unless they were a little too far to the left yeah, or a little too, too far to the right. But I never had to pick up a branch after them. I saw an 18 wheeler come back there flatbed to load up their big boys. And the only thing I allowed them to do was turn around in my yard because they needed the space. There wasn't any easement from the sale of three years ago. Are you the only house back there? The only resident. On that road? On that road. And then does one guy or one family or what own the, or is there how many owners of the property Several. on the other side you're talking about? On the at, oh. the, at the end of the road further back? <laughs> no, right there. Where yeah. you're talking There's about. There's no residents here. I know, but who owns that property? I'm just curious. One one we'll one guy. That. One oh. guy owns all of it. Mr. Spalding, Mr. Spalding owns where he's, the whole area he's talking about. Oh, okay. One, one, one landowner owns that whole property. Both sides. Yeah, he on both sides. But. So let me ask you this, uh, Master Quill. I mean, uh, until until uh, they want to put lines and so forth like you're talking about in any way, there's no sense to do it right now, is there? Yes, there more or less is because the county has a very difficult time maintaining the road. Dump trucks have a hard time. And cars can meet, but back there in that one curve, that last curve, you can tell where the tree's been, the bark's been knocked off of it, where nobody can meet there at all. That's because somebody went too fast. We already had, had a big, 
I don't That's know. That's the only time that tree has ever been touched. But I know. Years the dump trucks truck. have no problem with No, the dump trucks don't with, with it, but, but hay wagons and stuff, they have a hard time negotiating. We've talked well, about all the neighbors. That, we, we do the same thing on the paved section. Mm -hmm. Okay? One of yeah. us has to move over. It's not going to be the tractor with two tandem wagons. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to happen. you got to give. And it's a give and take the whole way from 1157 all the way to the back. Yeah. And more so on the pavement. If you can't dodge to someone's driveway because someone's in a hurry, you're in the front yard. Well, this is an unusual request. Most time people want the roads. You know, maintained as best they can. You know, they it's, are maintained it's as best it, as yeah, we. It, 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 you, you know, know it, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is very unusual for what you know what we what we're supposed to do. You do exactly <laughs> what you are supposed to do, and only when it's needed. Because yeah. I pick up the phone and call, and respectively, it's been warned. When the logging truck started to deteriorate, that deep dip where the concrete. Pipe is it's about six foot. At the last end of the lane, you were out there the next day with two truckloads of boulders, re-establishing the banks because the gravel was going like this, and I had to put up orange markers and stakes so I could see it in the winter time when it got dark or it snowed. But you took care of it in less than a week. So when it snows, do we come back there and clean it every time? Mm, not every time. So you, I have a heavy enough tree to build So you guys, you guys the only one live back there, and well, we'll drive the only there. time it ever gets cleaned per se is if you call the barn and say, "Hey." If it's too deep. And right. usually we're last on the list because there's more. Right. That the neighbors need it more than we do. There, there's been no issue. We've always right. been able to get in and out, and sometimes neighbors bring their plows down there, and you know everybody takes care of the road. I'm grateful for that. It's I have to ask one question. Excuse me. It's got to do Jimmy Wright. I like to clean some roads out of my district because of the issue of trees falling over the road, limbs falling on the road. When trees get over, these don't look like old trees in this photo, but I can't tell by looking. But we don't want to send road crews out at 2 o'clock in the morning because there's two or three trees down on that road if they need to be gone anyway. If you look at the history over the past 20 years, you look up and see how many times they've been out there. I've made one phone call for help. It's been to my magistrate, Larry. And he came out and helped me cut it up in the afternoon before dark. Good and job. Loaded it up and moved it out of the I'm not, I'm not saying we want to do that. I'm just Good saying, job, that's, Larry. That's a reason that yes. we might would do something like that. If it was a problem, I wouldn't be standing here. Unless we have our own chainsaws and we go out there and cut ourselves. And you're the only one that lives back there. Yes. But the road is traveled by several, several people. They don't want to live there, but there's like the Luckets, the Lees, and two or three different people. They're, they're in and out several times a day, probably more so than you guys, because y'all go out in the morning, come home at night, and they go in in the morning, again at noon, again in the, you know, they make several trips in and, and so out. It's all kind of track. You go out there and start doing something, it's, it's track and go back yeah. in there. <clears throat> and then what we're talking about is, is tight. Yeah. Well, can't we, can't we take out just that one tree and not destroy the whole line? We're fitted. We're, we're trying to, uh, it needs a ditch line on that side of the road. And to do that, we need to get rid of the trees on that side, put a proper ditch down through there, and uh, clear up. And then, like I said, if he's ever going to do any improvement to the road, they would have to be gone anyway. You can't, because they're right on the edge of the, you know, were that the roots and all you just couldn't do much to the road and just and you can't do that say i'm on a blacktop or work on the road next week or next spring you have to kind of plan and do a little ahead of time so that it can settle and and like i said get the proper ditch line in there and it uh it doesn't it does need a covert one place where the water it doesn't get on the road but it stands there and uh that's usually where I fix the bottle. Same place. Right there. Wow. It's only about that big. Yeah. But regardless, yeah. if 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 the time comes and it's necessary to pave this road, mm -hmm. everything that has been spoken of that we're trying to avoid is acceptable. But are you going to pave nine tenths of a mile for one resident? I wouldn't think so. We'll we'll pave it when the so. when the funds are available, and you know we're trying to eliminate all the 
gravel road. We've got one road in particular. It's over a mile long. One one person at the end of it. That's but me. not like me. well, but <laughs> but uh, we're always well. We just went up there and cleaned, did a similar thing. But uh, we're just trying to improve it and move on to to uh, you know. Well, and you're still going to have you talking about the open fields and all. You're still going to have a big open field there. We're not going to destroy any of that. It's not my land. I know, but it's, it's beautiful the way it is, even though it's not my land. Mm -hmm. You know, I would want more, but there's no reason for me to own it all. Not way well, it's hard to own everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially in Calvary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does the landowner say about it? He's wanting it done. Uh, At the cost of Marion County. Well, that's not really the point. To it. The, the, uh, Hell, we're need. doing it to improve the roadway, make it safer and better and easier to maintain. And uh, it's cost him. He want, he's got to do his own. We're just going to move the trees out, and that's it, and, and prepare the ditch, fix it like it needs to be. Because we have a lot of trouble with the – you were talking about the branch down there. We have a lot of trouble with limbs and all washing down <clears> – <throat> Almost after every big rain, we have to go out and clean that culvert out because all this trash comes out of the woods, goes down and stops it up. I have to pick up my driveway every time it rains. Yeah, but... And those trees are 15 years old. It's it's a, a constant... And mm -hmm. when the wind blows, it doesn't rain. If you don't clean them out or maintain mm -hmm. them, you know. So it needs to be maintained or at least looked upon on a regular basis, not done when it becomes an issue or a problem. Because when it does, and I drive by it, it goes over the roadway and washes through. out the rest. Right. Now you have a gushing flow versus a nice directed tube of water. Mm -hmm. But this you know, does this when you have a big rain this weekend. It does that. They, they'll get out there Monday and clean it out, but it might happen overnight or something. We have these big rains we used to have. It, it happens, and, and you're talking about a public... Uh, passageway through there and, and you get water in the road and, and the ditch stopped up and if that's the case we have the wrong size pipe at the end of that band's driveway. It doesn't take much law. You can get two sticks and a pile of leaves and stop up a, a big pipe. It, right. you know, I've got a similar situation uh, same thing. I've got a rock road. One individual lives at the end of it and I actually when I first got in years ago I went to him and told him said look you know, I'm going to get this thing blacktop for you. He made it very clear to me that if, I, if it got blacktop, I didn't need to come back down that road. And I guess the only outside looking thought is, is that I think you do have to give some credence to the fact that you only got one landowner. You get, well, you got multiple landowners, but you only got one person living back there. I think the landowner, the, the land guy that owns the land that lives in Louisville, he doesn't even live in Marion County, correct? No. So, so again, I don't see to where until there's really some. Well, actually, now if he, had, he now he let me say this, he didn't bring it up. We went to him. Just to be clear, he didn't come to us and say, "Could y'all take this right. tree line out?" He didn't. Yeah. We went to him because we was having some issues, and like I said, there's a lot of traffic, and they got some of this bigger farm equipment. Uh, people down there take hay equipment back there. They they question me on the. Their combines. I mean, the road back there in one spot. Did they say it's hard to get a combine? You know, their hay mine stuff back through there. It's, uh, it's narrow. It's We've hurting. talked with all of, all the farmers back there, and none of them have any trouble getting their equipment back there. Well, that ain't where they talk to me. Yeah, they I've talked to them also. They don't want to disrupt the neighbors or anything, but the, yeah, they get back there, and they have got back there over the years. But it would be a great improvement, and th they do get back there, but. It would make it a lot better for them, safer for them, easier. And, uh, but you wouldn't have to take out the whole tree line. If you just took out the one tree and that one sharp curve, that would take care of the whole thing. I have a recommendation to the issue. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a little bit of my land right in that curve so you can extend the road out wider. Well, there's on a big side. bank on that side, and you're talking about. It is if you go too far. But yeah. if you structurally support, that land, you can fill it in with enough rock to give them an extra four foot. <coughs> but that, that wouldn't solve the the main road issue all the way back. The, the whole side of that road is the problem. 
and but there is i mean you're talking about redoing the ditch there's never ever any water standing in the road there's no reason to do it it's all well the road needs some form of a ditch i mean there would be a ditch there my water may not stand there at all but when it comes these heavy rains it's going somewhere it's ditched on the left side yeah but the water's on the right so side. how many property owners there's, there's, no water there's standing on the right side how many farmers go back there? I'm just curious. Two, three, four? Uh, Bill Bernard Luckett, mm -hmm. uh, they farm back there. And then uh, Joey Lee and them own the Georgia yeah. property. They've got they, they have their own access from their back end. Yeah, yeah nobody's well. entered in from the backside because they bought that farm at the same time we did. Yeah, they go in and out both ways because they bought part of the Luckett farm. So they they go on. This Larry, would would you be willing to get with the Hennings and Joe Burnett and Joe Lee and them and y'all just talk it out and see what you can work out together? Not really. Uh, I mean, just be honest with yeah, you. I'm just asking. I've talked to them already, and it's a road it's a road issue. And I've talked I've already talked to the Lees, the Luckets, and the Spaldings, and I talked to you guys. It is very pretty scenic. It's good. It's like a a lot of things that are pretty, they, they're real pretty and nice to look at, but they may not serve the purpose. Uh, and I've talked to Jimmy at length about it. <clears throat> we need to improve the situation. And I've got a lane similar to you on it's a private lane. Trees all over. It is. It's very pretty, but, you know, it's, I'm the only one who goes back there, and, and they are pretty nice to look at. But we're not going to destroy the whole beauty of the place. Yes, it will. Well, then... Well, it's not much there. If, if that's just going to destroy the whole beauty, then there's, we're just working on one side we, of the road. We would, we would like to be educated on what is going to be Took out or move. issued you know, from, from here to here. Do we have a job site plan? Okay. Because if we're just going to show up with our equipment instead of knocking it out, guys, there's start more, here and finish here, and it's done in a week. All into the big field and you know, it there. Show us a plan. No, it's not going to. We've Help got a. That's what we, we're here for. Well, we here, okay. Here's. I've talked to I'll Jim. Here and talk to I mean, you know, what it takes. We're not going to push it up in the middle of the field. We're going to take all the brush over to the far corner out of the way, in the corner of the. against Back against the woods on each end or the middle, wherever. Uh, and leave it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Do y'all need it or want it or? or no, no. We just we've seen exactly enough logging and unsightly in right. the last 20 years. It's it's hurt our feelings right. because of the 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 um, <clears throat> lack of concern. Okay, I understand that a certain amount of debris and brush is great for wildlife and yeah. you know, helping the land. Okay, but all we have now is muddy creeks because of the 100 acres they just stripped. Yeah. It's all flowing through our backyard. Okay. I saw it this morning. Yeah. It used to be clear. Now it's brown and muddy. It's even before sunrise, you can see it. I'm sorry. It's just a <coughs> land con uh, conservation going on. And, and maybe that's uh, probably part of our chip on our shoulder over this issue. Because I can't go back there and look at what they just did the last two years. See, they're supposed to, loggers are supposed to be on this <coughs> logging. They got some kind of a Rules regulation are supposed to do and not have what you're talking about. It's not supposed to happen. They buy the property. They have got the free hand of whatever they want. Well, to now there's the regulation. The regulation are over that. Some of them go by it. Some of them don't. But there is oversight. But now what we're doing, we're not going to run it. It's going to go to where it's going now. It's just going to go at a more even flow and and hey, where it's supposed to go. Larry, would you be willing to get with? Uh, Jimmy and go down there and yeah. just I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, that, might, I mean, that might give you a better idea and might be able to you guys might be able to come up with some alternative solutions. I know that happens sometimes. Yeah. So. But yeah, I, I mean as far as talking to all the other counters and how many vehicles going down the road, right? The state does, we don't, we don't, don't really do. We don't have counters. There's not that much traffic that goes up and down that road. There's more people lost than there are in town. Oh, just snooping around. Yeah, sightseers. Sight <laughs> but, uh, you know, well, it's, I think it's a great we'll, idea. We'll meet with Jimmy and we'll come out and sometimes convenient. And, yeah. and, In the meantime, will you take it off the slate to be done? Oh, it's not going to be done immediately anyway. It's, I mean, it's going to be. You can say the next couple of weeks. Well, yeah. That's why I'm here in a hurry and not very planned out. Well, due to the weather and a bunch of other, it, it, we were planning on next 
few weeks, month, or something before winter, you know. And, but uh, it's, like it's not like next. It's not like next week or nothing like that. I mean. Okay. I'll take your word on that. Mm -hmm. Can I have your word yeah. on that? Yeah. It won't be next okay. week or. Good. Good. I guarantee. Done until no. we talk. Yeah. We'll, Very good. We'll get get Thank with you. you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank y'all. Appreciate your input and concern, but. You're welcome. I do, Larry. Thank you. I don't think so. No, it's... <laughs> Thank y'all for showing up. At least we know. Next time you bring one of those Monica Henning pies or something, I mean, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, hey, butter me up a little I, bit. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather she didn't. She might throw it. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's it. That's true. Custard pie. <laughs> Rock pie. <laughs> Rock pie. Yeah. Mike, we'll, we'll give get with Jim. We'll give you a call when it's convenient. Who will? Yeah. Thank you guys.